Okay, so we know how to create basic if statements, our conditional statements in PHP. And in this example, we created a variable called raining and we assigned a value of false to it. And then we wrote an if statement to say, if raining is true, then print out to the screen, it is raining. Okay, now what we can also do is provide an else option to our if statements. So if this is true, run this bit of code. Otherwise, if it's false, run another bit of code. So else it is not raining. Okay, so if we save that, head back over to our browser and press refresh. Ah, okay, I've got an error. So this will be a good opportunity to actually show you some errors. And it's probably because I've just missed something out. So let's read through. Parse error, syntax error, unexpected curly brace, comma, or a semicolon. And then it's telling me it thinks the issue is on line number 11. And quite rightly so, Visual Studio Code has underlined it in red, if you can see that, and it's because I've missed the semicolon there. So let me save that again and try and refresh. Okay, so it's not raining. So this is currently set to false up here. We evaluated, it's not true, so therefore it runs this bit of code. If I set that to true, save the file again, head back over and refresh. It is now running again. Now let's just enhance that a little bit further. I headed over to Pexels earlier and I searched for an image of umbrellas. This is a great little site. And uh, I'm gonna take that image. I can close that browser window down and it's a JPEG. So what I'm going to do is just call that umbrella.jpg. I'm going to move it into my PHP examples folder. All right, back in VS Code, you'll see there's the picture of my umbrella. Now, what I want to do is rather than just print out it is raining, I'd also like to show an image of that umbrella. So let's do that. I'm going to echo. And then inside here, we're going to send it some HTML. So we're going to say, img source attribute equals and then we know the file name is called umbrella close it we'll provide an alt attribute as well so umbrella and we'll close the tag and then our semicolon at the end okay so let's save that go back to our browser and just do a quick refresh so there's our umbrella and also our text saying it's raining. Again, if I set that back to false, save it, back to here and press refresh, it's no longer raining. So that's a basic if then else statement and we've also added a little bit of HTML in there as well.